G'day everyone, welcome to the channel. As you all know, Rod has moved to a different state. So today I'm asking the question we all ask ourselves from time to time. Can I replace my friend with a Boss RC5 loop station? This is the Boss RC5 loop station. It's a little beast. And what it's gonna allow me to do is have Rod still be part of the YouTube channel, even though he's moved to South Australia. Jerk. It has a massive amount of memory in it. It looks fantastic. Um, but most importantly, what it lets me do is load external files onto it, like backing tracks, or in this case, uh, audio that Rod has recorded himself in South Australia. So this is what we're gonna do. Here you can see, some tracks that Rod has recorded at home. He's uh, recorded them with direct audio and ambient audio, which I've got on mute, and they sound like this. Then, what the loop station lets me do is take the audio off Rod's clips and uh, put them on there so I can hear Rod playing like this. And then what I can do is put them through these two, or whichever pedal we're uh, demoing at the time, and muck around with it like he's here. best part is now because they're just samples of Rod playing he never gets tired and he never gets bored and he never makes a mistake and he just keeps on cruising along doing what Rod does uh, which is pretty awesome right now I'm going to show you how easy it is to get the files onto the boss RC5 check this out this is the software window here all you do is go to import click on the file you want it pops up a little window saying, hey, where do you want to save this to? You just go and pick a track, hit import, it takes a couple of seconds. Boom, shakalaka. It's on there, it's done. It is that simple. All right, now that I've showed you how to do that, let's muck around with a different pedal and uh, see if we can get some cool sounds out of this past effects Pedals Picasso uh, version of their uh, Boss C1. It's going to be awesome. Check it out.
is how we're going to do it. Um, and it will also let me put that little picture of Rod down in the corner so you, see, so you can see him playing. And uh, I'll still be turning the knobs live in real time. Now, let's get back to the looper and check out some of the features. So straight off the bat, one of the awesome things about this loop station is its size. And you can see how small it is. It's just a normal boss enclosure and it does so, so much. Besides the 128 memories, another great feature of it is it's got some drum beats in it and lots of different drum beats in it. I'm gonna give you a listen to some of those right now. There you go, there's a quick overview um, of the Boss Loop Station. You, it pretty much works the same as any other loop station. You just hit it once to start recording. You uh, you know hit it again to dub. You hit it twice to stop. You hit it twice and hold to uh, delete it and off it goes. It's actually really super simple. It comes with some awesome software um, that lets you import external WAV files like I've been doing. Now this is amazing if you're a solo artist and you want some backing tracks, um, you know, bass and keyboards and drums and stuff like that. Or if you just wanted some real basic rhythms, like a Cajun sort of style percussion to go underneath your acoustic performance, uh, you can just load those straight in there, tap the tempo in and off she goes. It's, um, it's a really, really cool little bit of kit and um, I'm pretty sure we can get a lot out of it. So. At the moment, it's acting as Robo Rod, um, and it's been doing a pretty good job of that so far. So uh, yeah, like I said, Rod will be able to send me vision clips of him playing. I'll be able to load them into the um, into the looper and feed them through the Iridium or whichever amp we're using at the time and whichever effect we're demoing at the time, and turn the knobs live for you in real time and record it. So um, it should be pretty cool, and it'll be an awesome way to uh, keep Rod involved in the YouTube channel even though he moved because he doesn't love me anymore, but that's fine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you got something out of it if you're um, in the same sort of situation as me and Rod and uh, you need to get audio to each other. It's, uh, it seems to work a treat. So uh, good luck with your setup and leave a comment if um, if you've got the same sort of situation and let me know how you're using your, your uh, RC5 or your Boss Looper. That'd be amazing. Thanks for watching and bye.